Would we have minutes for the We're going to walk around the 27th. I mean, the one where we voted on the water bonds, I would guess we would have a recording of the vote for that. There should be minutes for all of it in the past. No. No? I don't think so. Well, all I have is the regular. Okay, never mind. All we're doing is the regular meeting then, and I'll have the rest of us go out. I'll make a motion that if there are other minutes, that we approve it. I said, 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 I like the motion to approve, but I do have some questions. I have a motion and second. Second. Do we have further discussion, sir? Uh, well, let's see. I was in, in kind of reviewing some of it. I was kind of looking at where we were on our budget, looking at some of the things that we've got coming up. If I'm seeing it right, Jim, uh, one of the things was that, that through the nine months so far that we're the general fund is showing that we're basically in the red by $162,000. Uh, that's correct, but if you back out the $246,000 that we paid for the fire truck from last year fund, you're okay. a little bit to do it. That'll make it, okay. We're not uh, going to have a real solid until the fourth quarter. That's number right, number okay. Number. Um, well, before we did any much more spending, I was kind of wanting to kind of see where that was today. But that includes that we've already transferred out of the A and P Commission a hundred grand into the general fund to help with the parks. Uh, and the next thing I want to ask about, and I'm, I'm trying to think with Mr. Franklin that the public works. He worked out some. We know we're getting ready to spend out of the street fund six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars on street repair. Okay. Uh, Mr. Franklin was able to get with the street man and, and for I'm thinking the money that we had saved for operating the pool this summer, basically 60 grand we didn't spend because the pool was closed, that they can put in asphalt for that. I don't know whether we need to take that out of the our general fund at parks. I mean uh, a swimming pool. Yes. Is that where that expense would be booked? You can't take it out of the street. It okay. has to be out of the street. Well, okay. But you all need to make a resolution, resolution, to, resolution to change your funds. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. I just didn't know where to go with it, yeah. so that tells me what we need to do. It definitely needs to be done, and we need to think about part of it. Okay. Are you, are you aware that we are, we're not doing, we haven't determined already to do the whole thing, but particularly at Collins, right coming between the pool and the, uh, between the pool and the baseball field, Mr. Foote has already uh, agreed to do that to proportion. He's given us a price, but we didn't get it in our budget. That's where I'm going to do it, right? right. Yes, yeah. So we need to authorize doing that and, and know which budget we're going to put it in. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. So I'm good. All right. Those in favor, call for question. Those in favor, vote on the right. All right. Those opposed, vote on the right. Thank you so much. At this time, we're going to prepare for audience participation. The mic is not used for voice projection. It is used for recording only. You will have three, you have three minutes. Please state your name and your physical address uh, before uh, stating your cause or claim or for speaking. Michelle, you Rochelle Williams, 212 Parker Avenue. First of all, I want to thank the aldermen that came out to last night's event. And uh, I appreciate y'all taking the time to share with us what y'all are doing in your wards and what y'all want to do in your wards. Um, tonight I'm here because I currently run a Facebook page called Camden City Council Concerns. I created the page basically for people just to come in. I let them know in the meetings or if they have questions that they want brought up at the council meetings or whatever, I can voice that for them if they're not able to be here. So 
So I want to make it clear that um, these are not my, I'm not representing my personal views here. I'm representing views of citizens of Camden. The first concern that I bring forth tonight was a citizen who was concerned about the appointment of Travis Daniel to the Planning Commission. He believes that appointing him is a conflict of interest. He feels that he was an inefficient and biased city inspector and is unsure why the city is going to give him that type of responsibility again. Next, I had a question come up and um, the person wanted to know if resolution 2026 that's going to come up tonight about the bonuses, if that includes bonuses for the alderman and the mayor or is that just for city officials? Do we have an answer to that? Uh, I don't see it. Is that 2620? 2026. Okay, go on to the next. I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer. <laughs> 2026. Okay. But what about the bonuses? <laughs> Historically, the aldermen have never received a bonus. Okay. Now, does that include the mayor? It does include the, the elected officials on this one. Okay. Those were the concerns and questions for me. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, sometimes, if those issues are not uh, big issues, some of them don't have to wait until we come here. Uh, some of, if it's an alderman first question, we can get them fixed before all before this meeting. Or if it's a street concern or something like that, we can fix those. Some things we can do before we get here if we just know someone, somebody. If you uh, if you understand, I personally have to kind of stay off of social media in order to be effective. So I wouldn't know some of the things that people are saying and doing unless someone brought them to my attention. And people are not necessarily going through the channels that we set up to voice those complaints. And so I don't know unless someone brings it to me and then we can direct you to the right place. But if it's something simple, let them call the office, tell them to call us, and we don't have to wait until second two. That's a whole month. We could be squat that rabbit and have a whole meeting. We're ready for you. Who's next? Paul Sinclair. Good evening. As mentioned, my name is Paula Sinclair. I reside at 585 AG Avenue. I'm here to speak about a street concern. It's good to hear that there's some money that's going to be allocated for streets, and I see there's some kind of focus to work on the park. I live uh, at the intersection of AG and Pearl. Pearl Street was one of the streets where the water uh, company put in a new line, I think it was last year or year before. The street is crumbled. I have to commend the people that I called the other day. They did come out and attempt to patch it, but it's, it's crumbling, and uh, I, I would like to know if there's any plans in the money that you have allocated for street repair to resurface the <coughs> Pearl Street between Saks and Age. Yes, sir. Ms. Sinclair, how are you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm uh, Lawrence Ask you. I am your alderman in the ward. Uh, me and you, we have spoke um, months back. Right. And uh, we have two streets already in Ward 2 that's allocated to be fixed already. And Pearl Street, that street you're talking about, is not one of them. But I can assure you, we have plans in place. And we're entertaining, uh, getting a street paving machine. You know, it's not written in stone yet. And that way we'll be able to do our own streets. But right now, uh, we have two streets allocated in each ward. And uh, those streets have already been turned in. But we'll do our due diligence to do what we can to reparate that problem that you have over there. But as far as the streets um, getting paved and Get resurfaced, you know, I can't promise you that tonight. Thank you for your response. Unfortunately, what's happening on the street that I'm mentioning, as I said, it was crumbling and it's on the side of my home, which means it's compromising the ground. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I don't want to be responsible for trees falling because the street is weak. Yes, and that is the only reason I wish to address that today. Missing Glad, if you don't mind, tonight before you, has a, has a, can you know? 
Thank you for that information. Yes, sir. Yeah. Or two. I saw Mr. Daniels name to be appointed. The point of this, as you all are aware, that there were some major issues with Mr. Daniels and doing business as Mr. Daniels and co enforcement. I think that's a conflict of interest. As a matter of fact, I don't have to think about that. I know that that's a conflict of interest in having Mr. Daniels appointed to that planning commission. But I, I, I said to my own, my own lady, I said to y'all, that doesn't need to happen. That really doesn't need to happen. But that's my opinion and that's my thought on that. And I have that right. Okay. The, second, the third thing, the final thing, is the youth. The youth of, of kids in Warsaw County. Yeah, we have to do something for our youth. We have to do something for our youth as a city. We have to work on it. We have to work on it together. Not thinking that this person will get bigger than that person. That person. We're talking about our kids that are coming up. We want our kids to be able to come back to this town and be able to church. We want to, want to train them to work, to get up and go to work. That's what we want to do. That's what we need to do. You have summer programs that can be implemented, and I know there's someone else working on that. That really needs to work out. Right. Well, needs to, to work on it. Because they can put that kind of job to do and get them a job. And train them. Okay? That's my final thought. Thank you. Please. All right. Is that other? Yes. The last one is Ms. Reese Broadnet. Good evening, Rodriguez Broadnax, 424 Sharp Avenue here in Camden. I'm representing my personal business, Broad Minds LLC. Uh, last week, I uh, prepared some documentation that I've been working on over a year, and I prepared that and I shared it with my two aldermen. And uh, I also had an extra copy I gave to Mr. Joe. I wanted to present to the city, to propose to the city, that the city of Camden would utilize my company, I'm sorry, it's hard to talk with this mask on, but that the city of Camden would utilize my company, which is an emerging minority-owned uh, business here in Camden, and I would like to propose to work with you in the summer of 2021 with what I will call the Camden Works Youth Work Program. Uh, I. Last night it was uh, ironic that two of them and two people brought it up again, but I hear it all the time. People call me all the time about their children going to work, learning soft skills, being more employable, being able to go from high school to a job, different things. And uh, I would like to be a uh, partner with the city. Of course, it would be a cost, but my expertise is over 20 years in workforce development. I am certified as a workforce developer. I'm certified as a professional community and economic developer. I've done this for years, and I actually got my start here at the city of Camden working for the first mayor, Mayor Clay Baker, when he had people that were going through um, community service. They would send everybody to work on the street, but there were opportunities at times. There were young women and young men who had clerical and administrative uh, backgrounds. And when they would come, I found it to be more advantageous for them to learn how to work or to serve their community service in an office setting and to help maybe mentor them, et cetera, et cetera, motivate them, encourage them. And so I had the opportunity to start working them in the offices here in this building and at Public Works. Here we are 20 years later, you have people working in offices in Public Works in your buildings from time to time doing different services. So I would like for the city to um, look at my proposal. I think it's a decent price. I uh, hear you talk about budget, and I understand budgeting, but I also would think that our city would want to uh, make an investment in our young people. We talk about them all the time, staying here, uh, retaining them here, preventing brain drain, them leaving, going to other communities, some just 30 miles down the road, and them doing better and choosing to live there. I would like to see our young people live here. I would like to see them train and work uh, here, I'd like to uh, be able to teach them some uh, soft skills 
teach them how to dress, teach them how to present themselves, not just go to work. Some may just do a job working somewhere mowing grass, but it still uh, is important that they know how to get their foot in the door, how to address, and how to approach. So thank you, my time is up. And I would like, <coughs> if possible, to be able to show it to you, to give you a copy, and then if you find it to be okay, if I could give it to the rest of the city council. Do you have extra copies now? I made enough for the city council, not for the public. Okay, have you had an opportunity to speak with all the persons already to ask them to back it with us? I just spoke to them last week and told them that I would like them to review it and if they would consider it. Okay, so I, I, I took it, I didn't study it, but I, I thought about it. <coughs> what came up in the, 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 meeting, the council meeting last night, not the council meeting, the, the little meet the candidates. Meet the council of, of the job training thing that used to be available in the 70s that the feds funded i can see this being useful for the city i don't go about as much clerical i'm thinking about the swimming pool and yeah. the park maintenance and whatever else we talk about hiring some extra part-time labor that this would be a way to let you administer it, i guess i don't know what rules for minimum wage or such that you'd come under but it's certainly worth pursuing it would be something I would just elaborate just briefly. We would try our best. Our friends in other ways did this. They went and put fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars on the table because they were leaving their children. And they went and did this. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think some investors kicked in. But we would be looking for the cost and short notice. We'd be looking for employers. We would be looking for employers to foot the bill and for them to hire the kids. I would envision down the road us partnering maybe later on maybe doing some grant assistance um and then maybe give the city some money where the city could employ them i know everybody may not be on the city for their payroll but some could be on the city payroll some could go out to the area because they have mowing jobs here to here and a lot of people's kids get mowing jobs you know but uh, i would also like to say that i am interested more so in working with the 16 to 18 year old category because in a small town, you have a little amount of enforcement all going. Many people do not want to take on a 14 to a 15 year old because of child labor law. I have all that documentation in my possession. I'd be glad to share it with you. But this is just something I want you guys to think about. And if you would allow me to come back to a budget meeting or a city council meeting and talk more with you about it, or my phone number is on there and my email address is on there if you need to communicate with me. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate you so much. Thank you. We were quite, quite gracious. Uh, when I left you up there, you know I'm taking up too much. <laughs> 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 uh, all right, is that, is that, that's it? Is that, <laughs> I say so thank you so much for audience participation. Tonight has been quite enlightening. And uh, I hope that we will uh, consider the issues that have been brought before us on tonight. Uh, thank you. I, I need to open, I guess, by reading a resignation that if you have not already received it, you've got to receive it. Oh, well, the only thing that happens is not mine. It's, uh, <laughs> wow. No, you <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not all right with this meeting, but uh, my name is Luther Hawkins. I stay in Camden, Arkansas, 1436 years. My concern is if the road that leads from Bureau Street that goes up towards my house and Camp Hill is just totally washed out. You know, you got to get off on the grass if it ain't wet to get in. But uh, I've been trying to get in touch with uh, the city. My wife twice, me three times. And uh, they told me the last third time I talked to the lady, she told me to get in touch with my office, Mr. B. Sales, sales. And I did that. But the only bit of confirmation I got was today when uh, this lady told me, said, you need to go to the meeting. And, uh, Special ingredients going on. That's all. That's what I want to do. Give me the street one more time. 1436 Bureau. Stop by the county of Cowboy. You can't miss it. I appreciate Mr. Fry, Mr. Woody. If they if they want to get in touch with me, I'm pretty sure sometime they may look in that direction and see how the road comes. But I'm told Mr. Bell. I don't know who Mr. Bell is. Uh, Mr. Bell. Okay, and you spoke. I don't know if you said he was going out of town or something. And you told him to. Was it in early September when you called? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry, I was out of town for a week. Uh, and 
Yes, I do apologize. I that that did slip my mind. I do apologize. So uh, let me. I'm going to let him. If you guys don't have to leave, will you introduce yourself when you're gone? But Beelum, Beelum Street, Beelum Street, B E R A, B E R A, B E R A, B E R A. Okay, okay. And so I will put that on my. Oh, you say the street is washed out. Yeah. Well, so that's not Patrick. That's going to be some work. So, so it, it, let me, let me, just, I don't want to be offensive. This is my first time here, and so I'm, we're going to go and I'm going to look. Mm -hmm. But some of the problems that we have have been problems that have taken a while to get as bad as they are. And it's really, really, really expensive. So we're going to do something. But like whenever we've gone in and we could patch, people got angry about patching because it wasn't the, the answer. But there's only so much allotted to streets, and our alderman picked some streets that they thought were, uh, were were the ones that really needed the attention right away. Then we were instructed by the company, don't let these streets get to the to, to the place where they're so bad. So they went back and told us, wait a minute, before you go and put all the money in this one little section, start at some of these that are not terrible just yet. So we've been taking a lick for for trying. But we are trying to get to the streets. And so I'm going to, I, I, I'm being honest when I tell you, I'm going to go and look, take a look for myself. But it's difficult to make a promise of what, what we, can, we can do something, but to get it to where you would want it is going to actually take planning. And we've already allocated the funds that of the streets, and there's a list of them online that we've already said we're going to, but we're going to do some things. The county actually is working with us right now to help us with our streets. And, and if we deem it necessary, we can ask for some more help and see what we can do. Uh, but you have Mr. Bell and, and uh, of course, Mr. Lynch. That's that. I'll try to do it. You know, my concern was, if it would have been done earlier, they look at it, could have been bad. But it's just been washed out on both sides of the road. The water just turning, coming down to that spot, and it's just back that deep. You know, you can't. A better part of the vehicle for going up there and lifting up on the road could be fixed on that percent. Yes, sir. So that's what we're doing. And we'll get right on. And thank you. Also, I had talked to Mr. Allison uh, about this road, and he had told me that I would have to talk to the city. Right. It, it's going to be it's going to be our responsibility, but the county, Judge McAdoo, actually helps us to fix some of it. They have a truck that we don't have. We have a truck that they don't have. And so we've been doing some things by working together with each other. Okay. And so we're going to, if that one is deemed to that position and we can't do anything else, we're going to do something. But I'm just saying that you right now sitting here, I can't say, I can't say we're going to fix that street, but we're going to do something. And we'll get on it this week. We're going to start working. Thank you. Mayor, yes, just a moment to uh, excuse me. Thank you uh, so much, Mr. Ms. Hawkins. It's uh, this is a letter written on September 30th of 2020 to Julia Mott, Mayor City of Camden, Arkansas, 206 Van Buren Street, Northeast, Camden, Arkansas, 71701. Dear Mayor Julia Mott, I am submitting my formal resignation effective September 3rd, 2020 from my position as Alderman Ward 2 C2, City of Camden, Arkansas. I am resigning with short notice due to relocation, East Camden, and I hope you accept my apologies for supplying this letter on short notice. I have enjoyed serving on Camden City Council over the last nine years, and I wish you, the City Council, and the great employees of this great city great success in the future. I appreciate your understanding. Sincerely, Harry D. Simmons, and of course, he lists his address. All right? Uh, so I wanted to uh, put that uh, on the record. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, so, so this will constitute declaring a vacancy on that position. And uh, so under state law, the council appoints somebody to fill the remainder of that person's term at the next meeting. So that'll be at our next October meeting that the council will uh, appoint somebody to fill the remainder of the term. Next October meeting? November. 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 Motion today. 
Yes, I'm not going to mention that much money. Well, then we will have voted. Well, then that person will make laws until they know somebody in January is Okay, so we need someone else. Okay, so I'm just saying the right now we need a vacancy in the period of time between this month and next month would be to uh, publicize that vacancy for the older persons to uh, see who's interested. The person has to resign that board. And that's uh, uh, yeah. a question. Would it, uh, it, it may be some legalese reason that it can't be done, but it would seem to me if we're going to be meeting the second week in November, the election will be over. We know where's going. To, we should know who's going to fill that seat. I would think we'd go ahead and appoint them uh, instead of ask, asking somebody to come in for a month. That's correct. That's right. And there's nothing that was right. Okay, that's so we can do that. That's right. My suggestion we do that. So we just wait there for the election. All right. And if a person from that war needs something. Uh, if you don't get in contact with that older person, call 837. Uh, with the other older person, just call 837-5500. We're trying to do what we can to answer the concerns during the month. Uh, but for this one month, I guess you can dial that number, 837-5500. And if the other older person is unavailable, then we'll do what we can to assist. All right. We have uh, been engaged in doing lots and lots and lots of street repairs. And I'm not just saying that because it's my last name. We have really been doing lots of street repairs. And I'm going to ask that uh, as we get ready to move uh, a little further into it, uh, we're moving from chip sealing to actually having to have you drive down one lane because we're going to have to, some of them had more damage. Uh, so we're having to ask that you be very patient with us at this time, all right? Uh, we're trying to get some things done. We've been seeing quite a few park renovations. So if you have not had an opportunity, we're going to ask that you would take a look see, at Collins Park at the, at, the baseball, at the basketball court. We're going to go back and do a little bit more painting and sprucing up. We call on Friday, we ask for the faith community to contact Mr. Kevin Franklin. Some people in the faith community and non-faith, if, if, if you will, uh, have in the past volunteered to paint and to help us with some of the parts. But just volunteer, maybe you're part of a sorority or a fraternity, and you'd like to see some pink and green or some blue and white or some, maybe you want, you want to see some crimson or something like that in our parts. But I, you have to go through Mr. Kevin Franklin in order to assist us and to help us with those projects. Regretfully, Mr. Franklin had a, a, a personal concern to come up and he had to leave uh, town before we met on tonight. Take a look also at the park at Madison and Clifton. We are thankful to Lockheed Martin and Mr. Whitney who have come and assisted us with getting those things done. And when the projects were big or something needed moving, our public works guys were jumping on the spot to help to do some of the work. Mr. Whitney did a lot of the labor and stuff himself, but Lockheed Martin financed getting some of those things uh, done at the park right here at Madison and Cliff. If you've been paying attention to uh, the internet, you can't miss the Camden Disc Golf Course. Uh, it is it is beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. They were cutting out trees, knocking stuff back. And uh, the Arkansas Department of Health have, has already provided instructions on how we can play without uh, breaking the rules. So we gave some CDC guidelines for people who are playing uh, this golf to make sure that we are being respectful of the fact that there is sickness uh, in the land. We have also tried to revitalize the Keep Camden Beautiful uh, Commission. And so we have a few people on a Zoom call a few weeks ago. And in the midst of that uh, uh, Zoom call, we've had a, a few people to decide to join the commission. <coughs> myself, Dr. Myself and a few others have actually gone to H.K. Thatcher. And uh, we were looking at what we could do. And I, I'll be honest and transparent, as transparent as I can on this one. I first stepped into office and I looked at some of the things that were being said about H.K. Thatcher, it just seemed simple to close it. But when I said that, it was like people were ready to slam my hand in car doors 
So I backed off of that idea, but it's difficult to clean up something coming into the main thoroughfare like that. And it's, it, it's, it's, it, everything costs so much money, and you'll be putting a lot of money into that. It's going to take a real engineer to tell you how to push, how to build it back up, and how to get things done. And some of the people who are real strong on Facebook are not putting, are not putting in any volunteer hours. You know, the people are real bad on Facebook. They're strong, they're big, they help them on Facebook. But when you start talking about volunteering, I can't find those people to come and help us get it done. So we have a few people that we were able to, a young lady who ran a particular website, her name is Miss Burden, and she contacted us to ask us, what can I do to help? And I, we were so impressed, myself, Mr. Atkins, uh, Atkins, as well as Mr. Franklin, and a couple of us went down there and met with her and we talked her through, and she understood that it is a little overwhelming to do all of that, and we need the community to step up, not just for volunteerism, but there's other things that we need you to do. The paper that's on the ground is not magically appearing. Someone's throwing that trash out of the window. We need community pride. I can't teach you that. I can't say that every time I talk. We just have to step it up and do what we're supposed to do as a community. Don't throw cigarette butts out your window. Don't throw trash. Don't get a bag of food and throw all of it out. Just save it until you get to your destination. That's community pride, but it helps us. When our guys have to go and clean up that paper, that means they're not doing something else that you need them. So we need you to step it up. And if you see a way to help your neighbor and to check on your neighbor, please do that. That helps us. We've been noticing uh, that we, we deal with quite a bit of uh, a little petty theft and a little bit of stealing and some of our store stuff like that. And I'm asking uh, that we would be mindful that there's some people in need right now and that we would please uh, see if we could make sure that the people in our community have the things that they need as far as food and stuff like that. And there's some things that you may need to call in about. If you don't know, if you don't understand, if someone is uh, dealing with mental illness or something like that, things that are beyond your purview, beyond what you normally would do, call those things in instead of trying to settle them yourself. Because a lot of people dealing with cabin fever and other things, and if we don't know how to help them, we may need to stand down on some of those issues. We also tried to start a mayor's youth council and a mayor's senior advisory board. And the one was for the young people, and on last night, instead of having the meeting, Ms. Carrie Weatherford was supposed to teach us parliamentary procedure on last night. We, we forwarded that meeting to go to the actual uh, meeting of the candidates. But we're going to start with parliamentary procedure, uh, which will be taught by Ms. Carrie Weatherford of our Watchdog Extension Office we're in partnership with. And also, we were doing the 6 o'clock was the young people, and the 7 o'clock was the uh, for people, my senior, I mean people who are generally my age or older who try to tell me what to do all the time. I was giving you an opportunity uh, to help us in that way. But I want to say uh, thank you because this is our report for the month of October. <coughs> all right? Yes, sir. <coughs> Mr. Mayor, to the uh, Board of Aldermen, um, Attorney Frow, just sitting there thinking about <clears throat> what you mentioned about um, appointing. Appointing somebody to chip yes. me yes. and considering what Alderman Lindsay had said went to the election is over with. Um, I don't know if it's a good time now to bring it up or wait to the end of the meeting, but 